My story begins about two years ago when I was in a coffee shop and I was preparing to take the Google certification test. I had spent a lot of time uh, training in different Google apps and I was, you know, ready to go and I was ready to take the test and I was very excited. So I took it and the requirement was 85% or something like that and I got like an 83 so it felt like a punch to the face. I tried it again and I think I failed it again on a different Google app. And of course this was the old Google certification and pretty much, you know, I failed and felt like giving up. So that was about two years ago. But now Google has recently updated their G Suite educator certifications and they include educator level one, level two, certified trainer and certified innovator. And so I thought I'd give this another chance. So I went to the Google for Education Training Center at edutrainingcenter.withgoogle.com and I began studying again. And for Educator Level 1, it's all about um, getting technology implementation skills. And so I went through the 13 units and it had review exam questions. It was self-paced so I could kind of start it and come back to it. The exam itself was 120 minutes. It only cost $10, and once I paid for it, I had seven days to complete it. If you don't pass the first time, you have to wait 14 days to try again. If you don't pass the second time, you have to wait 60 days. If you don't pass the third time, you have to wait 165 days. The certification is valid for 24 months. Well, I took it and I passed it, and I was so excited that I was motivated enough to try for educator level two which is all about leveraging the use of technology um, in your pedagogy. And this particular certification was only nine units with the review and exam questions, self-paced just like before. They, they gave you about 180 minutes for the exam. This exam cost $25 per exam. And again, you have seven days to complete it. If you don't pass it, the same things apply that applied in the educator level one and the certification is valid for 24 months. Well, I plowed through this, and I got both Google Certified Educator Level 1 and Level 2, and I want to help other teachers achieve this goal. I've recently heard that McFarland just had 21 teachers get Google Certified Educator Level 1, so I want to see how I can bring that to my district. And that is my story about getting Google Certified.